Okay, so today we're going to be going over the best recommended settings for SEMU in 2020. First, you want to go into the options and then select general settings. And then under interface, we're going to leave these checked and the rest unchecked. Just make sure you follow along. Then we're going to go under graphics. Now, the API that I like to use is Vulkan. For me, I just seem to get a little bit more performance out of it than OpenGL, but that could vary between computers. Uh, my graphics device is a RTX 2070 Super. I like to leave my pre-compiled shaders enabled. That way I don't have to sit there and wait or have a uh, slowdown during the game while the shaders are compiling. I have my VSync turned off. Upscale filter is on by cubic. Downscale filter is on by linear. And full screen scaling is kept to the same aspect ratio. I don't like stretch because the image just doesn't look right. Now on over to audio. With the general API, I leave it on direct sound. You also have X audio too. The latency, I leave it at default 24 ms. Under TV, the sound will come out of whichever the sound's primary sound driver is, which right now would be my headphones. Channels, you can leave it on mono, stereo, or surround. Uh, volume, I turn the volume down just a tiny bit so that uh, this video doesn't get copyright. Uh, gamepad device, I got that disabled because I don't want any sound from the gamepad coming out. Now on over to overlay, we have the position disabled, text color white, scale 100%. I do want it to show the FPS, so I have that checked. Uh, CPU usage, we can have that checked also. And notifications, I have everything on the top left. Scales at 100, text color white. So this and this are going to be coming out in white. Now over the account, you can create your own account, set up with your own profile and name. Uh, online settings, I have that as disabled because I'm not going to get into that. It's a big hassle. And debug, crash dump disabled. Now over to input settings. I have under my profile, Xbox One, this uh, emulating a Wii U Pro controller, and I have it in X input so that I can use my controller here, PS4 controller, using a DS4 application. Link for that will be down in the description below. And I mapped all the buttons to a regular Nintendo proprietary controller. So as you can see, the analog sticks working at the bottom in the middle there. And on over to the next setting, which would be, nope, that's it. Now, going back into options, we're gonna take a look at graphics packs. This allows you to enhance the game's graphics, make the shadows a little bit better. Uh, you can make the resolution a lot higher if you want to. Go as high as uh, 3840 by 2160. The game we're gonna be testing out today is going to be Super Smash Bros for Wii U. Under enhancements, I have contrasty and no boxing ring screen both off. Graphics, the resolution is set to 3840 by 2160. Shadow resolution is at medium. I've noticed that if I set it to high, uh, the frames will start to drop and then the image will start to stutter. And workarounds, no pixel mess, also checked up. All right, let's get this started. Would you like to create new album data? No, thank you. I 
As you can see, my frames are at the top left and the top right. Pick Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon. Three, two, one, go. Now these settings will work for just about any computer for the latest updates of SEMU in 2020. Alright, that's going to be the end of this video. If you like it, please comment and subscribe, and don't forget to leave a like.